All right, we're going to go into the Chino Valley Liquor Barn. And let's hope they have something cool in here that we haven't seen all our searching hunting in the last couple years. Chino Valley. This place is cool and hey, and they have a drive through. They have a, some pretty loud copyright music on here. So I had to just uh, do a little voiceover. You can see they've got some, it looks like Caramello never seen that before a couple other things some crown royal and then they had some whistle pig and they had actually this whistle pig 15 for 310 which which is actually not a bad price comparatively speaking of course they had four roses and the four roses are single barrel which is really good and i'm looking at the blue top of the early times if you can never find the black top you want to buy that blue top i'm not a fan of early times now it's now a sazerac product and the early times used to be a brown foreman there's fray ranch great great stuff all right this is very interesting we got this uh grand canyon distillery straight bourbon whiskey it's only aged for two years so i'm a little leery uh, but it says it's a weeded bourbon made with arizona blue corn milled mashed fermented distilled and aged in williams arizona and that williams arizona is one of my favorite places but for a two-year whiskey i'm gonna pass uh, all right so we found this Finally, a really good price. It's $33.49 for the Pendleton Midnight. And I've uh, been wanting to try that. That's pretty cool. So, we're going to get this and we're going to get the uh, Red Run Empire. Good prices on both. Really good prices in this store. Okay, so now we found the end cap, which I'm saying we almost missed this. But it's the Blue Run, which we bought earlier for $82.99, and we paid $99 for it. And then he's got a good price on that Calumet 15 for like $115. It's actually a good price. And um, we're just looking at all that. So the, the prices at this Chino Valley Liquor Barn is, was really good, as you can see. They had some Garrison down there, which I'm not a huge Garrison fan, but it's not bad. And then there's Elijah Craig, which I have both those bottles already. Huge Elijah Craig fan I am. And there's a George Dickel 17, which I completely ignored. And that Old Elk Infinity Blend, $151. I don't really know anything about that, but that does look interesting. And there's our buddy Billy, who really doesn't want to be on the camera, but we sure enjoyed talking to him. What was your name again? Billy. Billy? All right. Nice to meet you, Billy. Yeah. And what was her name again? That's Cat. Cat. Nice singing, Cat. Nice to see you. Bro, till the tip, man. I got a bunch of candy. This was fun. Man, we talked to Billy for a long time in there. He he didn't want to be on camera, but 
uh, talked about whiskey for a while. It's great. Yeah. Uh, great oh, store. Good, good prices. Some of the best prices we've seen. Yeah. So we're heading on to Vegas now. We got to get on the road. Got to get going. All right, they had great. We've been wanting this. Look, look here, too. Okay, we got the Redwood Empire and uh, 33 bucks, 33.50 for that. I've been wanting that because I love Old Monarch and uh, Lost Monarch from Redwood Empire. This would be great. So that was good fun. And then the other one we've been looking for is the Pendleton. Midnight whiskey. I've been looking for that ever since I tried that 50 milliliter Monday, which was really good. So this is this was actually out of a brandy barrel, so that's pretty cool. And this was the cheapest we saw. How much was this? Thirty-three dollars or yes, something like that. I believe that? it was. So both of these are in the 30 30s. So that's when you can find that's a great bourbon hunt right there. 